Hi, I'm Christina Giorgio from Tasteful Cakes and today I'd love to take the time to show you some really easy hairstyles for sugar models like this one here. So you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so what you're gonna need is a few faces. I've just got ones for my facial expressions class. You're gonna need some paste in different colors. The paste I've got here today is Saracino, but you can use any Renshaws or fondant. I've got vegetable fat, which is Trex, you can buy from any supermarket. Clipper scissors, craft knife, water pen, FMM plastic knife tool, and a rolling pin. Okay, so we're gonna start with the hair down style. And I've just got my Saracino paste here. You need a tiny bit of Trex on your hands. Now this just stops it from sticking to your hands. And you need to work the paste quite a bit. You want it to be really easy and pliable and soft. Um, and then roll yourself a ball on the palm of your hand. And just push down like that. Now roll it out a little bit, but the trick to this hairstyle is keeping it quite thick. When your paste is thick, you have complete control over it, do you see? You can move it wherever you want it to go and it will stay. If you roll it out really thin, it just flops all over the place, okay? So literally lay it over the top of her head like that. I don't really ever use glue or water really because it just you just don't need it. If your paste is soft enough, it will stick and you bring it around the front of her face and you literally make it as you go along really. Just wherever the paste falls, you can just make areas thinner. So see here, you just pinch it to make it thin and then you can create a little bit of a curl in it and bring it all the way around. So just play with it until you're happy with where it is. I don't really like that, so I'm just gonna pinch that. If you wanted to, you could cut that off, but I'm actually just gonna twist it round. And that is the start of your wavy hair. Afterwards, you just add in little pieces. So first of all, take your plastic knife tool and add a part in. Now I always use the back of this. So just press it in like that. You can create a few lines on the top of her head. Pop it down. And just add a few streaks. So just grab a bit of your paste and you want to roll a ball. Now to roll a ball I'd use two fingers now rather than the whole of my hand. And then you want to roll a tapered sausage just like that. Pat it down so again it's really thick which means I have full control over it. And just pop it over the top. You can stretch it and just twist it wherever you want it to go. Do another one. Ball, tapered sausage, pat it down. This one's a little bit thicker now to cover the front of her head. And again, just create movement. And then again, just put a few streaks in her hair. So that is an easy, wavy down style. Okay, let's go on to doing a little cute baby hairstyle. So this one's super, super easy and really, really quick. You literally need a tiny ball of whichever color you want to use, and you're just gonna roll it into a tapered sausage again. Actually, that might be a little bit too much. So we'll do a cute little girl, I think. And all you're gonna do is twist it round like this. Yep and just pop it on the top of the head, just there. Now you can use a little bit of water if you want to. And what you can do is just put a couple more lines in with the knife, just like that. Now it looks a little bit boring on its own, so I'm just gonna add in a hairband. So roll yourself a sausage, because you want the length, and just roll out with your rolling pin. Grab your craft knife and cut yourself a strip. Okay, it can be as thin or as fat as you like, it's totally up to you. 
can grab a little bit of water, take off the excess, always have the bristles damp, never wet, and just run it across the top of her head. Now this is gonna go straight over the top and obviously it will go behind the ears when you put them on. For now, I'm just gonna tuck it all the way around, okay? And then we just make a really easy bow. So you want two balls, obviously the same size. Doesn't matter what size you want them. Two balls. And then roll yourself a bit of a cone and just flatten it. Next one. Cone, you can flatten it on the table. And then just add it on wherever you like. A little bit of water. Pop one there, pop another one there. Make a little line with your knife tool. And then a little ball for the center. Just makes it look much cuter. Just like that. And again, a couple of little lines. That's well cute, isn't it? There you go. Really easy. Pop that one up there. Okay, let's do this silly, goofy guy. So I've got a little bit of paste here. I'm just using the brown one, which is so lovely. It smells like chocolate. So same as before, roll a ball. As always, it's where we always start when we do modeling. Press it down. Again, you want it quite thick. And just roll it out just a little bit. It kind of gives you a nicer finish as well. And you want to actually make it a little bit bigger, I think. Again, just exactly how you did before with the female. You just bring it down, so you lay it over the top of the head, and you just bring it down here. So do you see how I stretch that down to make it a little bit thinner? It's like for the sideburns. Obviously, if you had ears, you tuck it slightly behind them. And then you just bring it round to the back like this, gather it all up, and pinch. So you just want to pinch it round like that. And literally, all I do is just cut it away. Now, you do have lines. But if you use Saracino paste, which is what I always use, I absolutely love it. Um, it's so forgiving. Look, you can just press all your lines out, get rid of it all, and then you actually get rid of that flat head as well. Gives you a nice shaped head. Okay, there's so many different hairstyles that you can do with this one. But um, what I'll do today is show you how to do a little spiky hairstyle. So you can grab your scissors and work from the back and just cut all the way along like that and then go in the middle of the last ones this is just really really easy okay so i want his hair to come forward if you wanted it to stick up you could cut more at that angle just snip away i love these scissors i think i love them because they're pink you can get these from hobbycraft oh lift that up don't worry if you make any indents, it's fine. None of our hair is perfect. Definitely not a little spiky hairdo. So, just go in. Can you see from the front now? It's cool, isn't it? Okay. So these last bits, you wanna make sure you cut into them, otherwise it looks quite flat. Actually, some of it's lifted, but that's fine. All you need to do now is just play with it. Put it where you like, you can lift his hair up if you want. And these side bits, you can cut into them or you can just go around and just add a few lines. Now when you do bits like this, just make sure you do it quite rough. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can even go that way as well if you want to, it's totally up to you. Just lift it. It's meant to be messy and if you don't like any bits, you can just clip in again. I might actually make it stick up a little bit more. That's kind of cool. Yeah? There you go. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to do a easy hairstyle up. So again, a ball. 
I'll have to drum it into your head. You should always start with a lovely crease-free ball. Push it down and roll it out. So the way you start this one is pretty much the same way as you started the man's one. So we go over the top again, pull it down to the side for your sideburns. Again, if you had ears there, you just tuck them behind and just bring it round to the back. Now I'm going to show you, this is, this is the start for every single hair up style. I'm just going to show you something cool that you can do before we twisted this and we cut it off, didn't we? So what you could do is twist it all the way up like that and round and have it as a little bun. And then what you could do is just put some extra lines in. Now when I do these extra lines, notice that I use the back of my tool because the front is far too sharp. So this is really great for making little creases. Yeah? So that's quite cool. Or, I'm going to show you another way. You can cut this off just like we did before. And again, get rid of all your creases. So that's kind of your starting point, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do a ponytail today. So you wanna use the back of your knife. So first of all, you need to think about, no matter what you're doing, where your hair parts. So for a ponytail, all the hair is gathered and it's brought to this point here. Now another thing you wanna remember is usually your faces are straight on, like that. So if you put the ponytail at the back, you're not really going to see it. So it's really important that you have it quite high if you want it, your hairstyle to look more dramatic. So go all the way around. In fact, you can go the other way, use the front side, just to create different thicknesses. And just bring it to this top point here. Go around the back. Okay, so I'm going to work to here. Afterwards you can just use the front and just do like little nicks into it just to make it look different. You don't want anything samey. Okay, just like that. You could put a little hairband in, so I'm going to use the pink again for that. Just like that, pop that on top there. Again, I haven't really used any water. It's quite soft where I've been playing with it. And just put a little line in to, around the side of it, just so it looks like, um, like a scrunchie. They're back in fashion now, so we can get away with it. So at this point, you could actually put a bun on top. Actually, let's go with a bun. I think that would look much nicer. So. That's the in style at the moment, isn't it? A nice bun on top. So basically a little ball. You're gonna grab your knife tool and you literally go in to the top here, all the way around. Again, switching the sides of the knife tool. Maybe go that way again, because it's a bit thicker, so it looks quite cool. All the way around, like that. And at this stage, I probably would use a little bit of water just so it sticks better. So really tiny bit of water on the top here, like that. And then I kind of just tap it on top to make the area tacky. What you can do is you can put a toothpick straight through her head. I know, poor, poor thing. Straight through her head and then pop this on top just to make it um, more stable. But for now, I'm just gonna stick this on top. She's got a really nice high top bun, which is quite cute. But you don't have to leave it there. You can leave that hairline if you want to. But I love adding little streaks, like little streaks of hair coming down. So just as we did before, if you remember in the first hairstyle with the hair down, it's the same thing every time. It's a tapered sausage to a point. And you pop it on and then you can just twist. In fact, let's do little twists. So you can just twist them down like that. And again, make a few little streaks. And then do one the other side. I like to usually do a thicker one one side and then something a bit thinner the other side. I think it looks nice. Um, I try and avoid things looking even and the same. 
but honestly I do just when I do hairstyles I just go with it and it's just about confidence really and just making it up as you go along just go with wherever the pace is falling and what you think looks looks good at the time there you go and I think it just finishes it, it just gives it that cute little look yeah and that's that one so there's your four different hairstyles to get you started Okay, I know what you're thinking, I've made it look easy, but I promise you, it is as easy as it looks. If you stick to these three rules, you'll be well on your way. First rule, Saracino. Saracino is your friend. Second rule, work the pace really well. And thirdly, don't roll the pace too thin. Make sure you apply it to the head thick. You've been watching Christina at Tasteful Cakes. If you've enjoyed the video, click below, let me know. Check out the links in the description for all the equipment and materials I've used. And I'll see you in the next video.